Good evening, everybody, and welcome to um, Anointed with Power Ministries. I am Minister Lori, and it is an honor to be before you all. So welcome. Come on in and let us know where you're from in the chat box. Happy, happy Wednesday. God is good. I'm excited about this word, and I'm excited to be before you all. Um, God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Um, come on in. Let us know where you're from. And as you come in, we're going to get started with prayer and then we're going to do some announcements and then we'll get into the, the word. So, Father God, I thank you for allowing us to come together for a time such as this. God, I just ask that, Lord, you decrease me, God, and increase you, O Lord. Be with me, Father God, as I give this word. Touch everybody who is here now, God, and those who will come on after. We love you, God, and in your mighty name, Jesus, I say amen, 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 and amen. So come on in. Let us know where you're from in the chat box. Um, I just wanted to start with some announcements. As you guys know, um, we have our, um, as you guys know, we have our um, Morning Glory every Monday, Wednesday, Friday between 9.30 a.m. and um, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Typically, it is, um, typically it is 9.30 um, but sometimes it could be around 10. It just depends on the schedule for the week. Um, and when I have clients and things of that nature, but, um, that is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then every Friday we have our, um, discipleship class on Fridays via zoom at 6 30 PM Eastern standard time. And that link is always posted in our, um, community tab, which I'll post that again this week. And then on Saturdays, we have our corporate prayer and corporate fast. So like I said, I'm a believer in praying and fasting and spiritual disciplines to help us to kind of just navigate the things of this world because we're in a crazy world. A lot of things are happening and without God, without those spiritual practices and disciplines, it's really hard to navigate and it's easy to fall into sin or into a previous lifestyle that we know doesn't serve us or isn't pleasing to God. So we need community and we need our spiritual disciplines, okay? And fasting and prayer is one of them. So on Saturday, Saturdays, please join us uh, via the same link. And I just have to be honest, I feel led to share this, but you know, I I want to see more from you guys who follow me. Those of you who are moderators, those of you who come on, I know we may have some time differences. Um, be it, be be it so or just due to being in different time zones, but I want to see more of a concerted effort from you guys in terms of showing up to Bible study, showing up for prayer. I mean, we get a, about a good, you know, uh, 15, um, 18 people Fridays and Saturdays, but there are more of you who follow the ministry. And I really want to see more of an effort from you guys. The Lord laid that on my heart. I am the, the um, under shepherd. I am the pastor of AWP, Anointed with Power Ministries. And we are like a church. We are a family. And I am the overseer. And so God will put on my heart things to share with you guys, whether it's through prophetic words, whether it's through encouraging shorts, whether it's, you know, during Bible study on Friday night and prayer Saturday morning. He's giving me downloads. So for those of you who are looking for a prophetic word, maybe if you will plug into a ministry, and particularly this one, if you're tuning in and tapping in and staying connected so I can get to know you. God can give me the download to give to you. God can give you that word of love, of correction, of direction. But if you're being tossed all over, if you're not tapping in, it's going to be hard for anybody, any prophetic voice to really give you what thus saith the Lord if you're not tuned in, if you're not tapped in. Please. So I want to see more of an effort. Many of you, I see you on here during the week. I appreciate it. But these classes are, our discipleship class is in the evening. It's after 630. And I know a lot of y'all are 
either home or you don't work. So you can come to this. And on Saturdays, it's the weekend. So the Lord is saying, I'm giving you tools. I'm giving you the things that you're you're asking for and that you need, but you're not applying it. Whether it's courses, free free webinars, there's so many things that 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 you guys have available to you through this ministry, through different ministries, but you guys are not utilizing them. But then when you come here in the comments, I, I hear the complaints. I hear the pleas, the cries. Oh, I'm waiting. Well, God's waiting on you to get it together. God is waiting on you to get tapped in. Come to Bible study. You know, uh, come to prayer. So please, please, as a leader, being authentic, I have to speak what's on my heart and what God is giving me. And for those of you who are consistently coming on here, you need to be in class on Friday. You need to be in Bible study. You need accountability. You need structure. You need the discipline. All right. Without that, you're not going to see movement. You're not going to see change. You're not going to see much change. So please pray on it. Take it to heart and let me know what what God reveals. You can email me, you can reach out. Things don't take, um, things don't happen like this. It takes time. And the quicker you decide, I'm going to change, I'm going to tap in God, I'm going to start fasting, I'm going to start praying more, I'm going to read the scriptures, I'm going to join a Bible study. The minute you begin to take action, God can begin to incite change in your life. But the longer you postpone it, you're going to stay in that same stuck situation. So please, please come out. Come out and, and get some Bible study. Meet some other believers. Open up. Get, get the fellowship that you need, okay? And possibly a, a prophetic word or correction or whatever you need or direction, all right? So I felt led to share that. Um, so yes, we have that Friday and Saturdays. And then, um, again, if you want to partner with the ministry, we have a multi-tiered partnership. Um, you can look through our description box. It has all of our links, um, our YouTube memberships. We have multi-tiered partnering, um, memberships just to help us because you know, we're trying to do bigger and better things. We're elevating. We want a building. There are things that we want to do, uh, for this ministry. So, um, please, if you want to partner with us, we, we look forward to it. And for those of you who do partner who are members we love you and we appreciate you and we enjoy when you comment um so thank you for that also as you guys know i've written a book and i've self-published it on amazon called purpose driven purpose focused right and god allowed that book to open doors for me and to change my life and to give me networking opportunities right so i am having a author's workshop starting may 5th so if you're interested please 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 uh, uh, book a um, 15 minute consultation where we could talk and I'm only going to let in probably maybe five to seven people okay that I can work with I'm working with authors now and we're making such great progress um, I can't wait for you guys to see the testimonials and the finished product with that God has literally given me the ability to be able to take your idea or where you're stuck and turn it into something amazing. So if you're stuck and you're writing a book and you want to get this book published, please book a consultation. Okay. And that link is in the box as well. So that is it. Um, I just wanted to, to give this encouraging word, um, this word of hope, this word of hope, my God, my God, this word of, of hope. Um, God is so good. And I know that as of lately, We've been going through it. Amen. We've been we've been going through it. Um and and the Lord knows that many of us were in the process of needing to make some major decisions, right? Whether it's an investment, whether it's a relocating, whether it's it's leaving a relationship, a church. Um and in the midst of it, we've been we've been going through some things, we've been enduring a lot of warfare. Um, and, and it seems like, you know, God, when is it going to break? When is it going to let up? When, it, when am I going to see breakthrough? When am I going to see the manifestation? Um, and the Lord is saying, be hopeful, my God, be hopeful because good things are coming. Somebody put it in the chat box. Good things are coming. And I want to read from Psalms 10 verses 16 through 18, Psalms 10. Verse 16 through 18. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations have vanished from his land. You have heard the desire of, 
of oppressed people, O Lord. You encourage them. You pay close attention to them in order to provide justice for orphans and oppressed people so that no mere mortal will terrify them again. Thank you, God, for the reading of the word. I love it. The Lord is king forever and ever. Say the Lord is king forever and ever. Hallelujah. And I love when it says you have heard the desire of oppressed people, O Lord. You encourage them. So the Lord says he's encouraging you. He's encouraging us. He's encouraging his children. He said there's hope. There's hope. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Somebody say there's light at the end of the tunnel. My God, it may seem dark now. It may seem like things are not going to work out or you've been going through it. You've been crying. You know, you've been you've been hurt, right? You've been let down, but the Lord said where he's taking you, there's hope. Hallelujah. There's hope, but he needs you to hang on. He needs you to remain strong as you wait, right? As you wait on him. We know the waiting process can be hard. The waiting process can be tough, right? But the Lord said as as you wait on me hallelujah i'm gonna give you hope i'm going to encourage you because i've heard your cries right that's what god that's what he's here for he's here to comfort us hallelujah he's here to comfort the the the, the widower right the, the the one in mourning hallelujah the one that's oppressed the one who's going through poverty and sickness the lord said i've been sent here i'm gonna comfort you hallelujah i'm gonna give you encouragement my god but i need you to keep going say i will keep going hallelujah stay hopeful hallelujah because hope is important my my God, hope is a part of our Christian faith. And I want you to ask yourself, how hopeful am I? Are you hopeful? Put it in the chat box. Am I hopeful? Answer, yes, I'm hopeful, Lord. Yes, I trust in you, Lord. Yes, I believe in you, Lord. Yes, I know good things are coming, my God. Yes, I know good things are around the corner. Yes, I know, God, you have a place for me. Hallelujah. Once I make this step, once I exit this place, once I take a leap of faith, once I step forward, once I be uh, believe in myself again, Again. Once I begin to gain confidence, hallelujah, once I see myself with healthy eyes, once I cut the toxic people from my life, I know that, God, you have room for me. You have land for me. I will be hopeful, my God, in Jesus' name. You've got to be hopeful during times such as this. You've got to believe during times such as this. And I always say it. There are people who are not here today. There are people who didn't wake up this morning. There are people in third world countries that are going through it who haven't eaten a meal at all today in months in weeks my god children uh, starving from starvation or you know dying from starvation and and we've got to think about our circumstances and practice gratitude my god and i've been saying it what do you have in your hands what do you have in your hands that god can use what can you do can you bake can you give back can you write the book can you launch the business we say the same things over and over again here because god is really trying to take his children to a new place okay enough with being broke busted and disgusted it's time to move into a place of peace a place of rest a place of prosperity and I don't mean prosperity with money I just mean in terms of of, of abundance and love and life and laughter I know I'm tired, right? You're tired of the same old thing, but God said, you've got to be hopeful. Say, I will be hopeful because the Lord is encouraging his children. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy the little moments. Be encouraged. Be delighted. Be filled with gratitude. Be filled with grace. Do something to help somebody else. My God, because things will turn around in your favor. Say, things will turn around in my favor. Hallelujah. Things will turn around in your favor. The thing, it may be tough right now, but God said things are going to turn around in your favor. I need you to be hopeful. I need you to remain steadfast. I need you to remain focused and diligent when it comes to the word and the promises I've spoken over your life. The Lord is king forever and ever. Hallelujah. You have heard the desire of oppressed people, oh Lord. You encourage them. God I said, I'm coming to encourage you, my God. I'm coming to give you hopeful things, my God. I'm taking you somewhere, my God. But I need you to let go of what was. I need you to stop mourning soul, hallelujah. I need you to be hopeful, have that mustard seed faith, and believe again that I can act in your life, I can move in your life, because I'm taking you somewhere, hallelujah. Say, the Lord is taking me somewhere. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Be encouraged. 
Be encouraged. We have a God, a God who is powerful and mighty, and there's nothing that he can't do. There's nothing he can't do for us. Hallelujah. But you got to stay faithful. You got to stay committed. You got to stay hopeful. You got to be steadfast. You got to be diligent. My God, give God all that you have. Give him what, he, what you have in your hands. Hallelujah. He'll give you beauty for your ashes. My God. Ooh, I hope this word is helping somebody today. Come into agreement with this word. Tap into this word. Hallelujah. Go to the book of Psalms. Psalms 10. We just read Psalms 10 verses 16 through 18. My God, the Lord is king forever and ever. Say it. The Lord is king forever and ever. And I know you're going through it. Many of you, you you've lost loved ones. You've lost family members. You you feel like you're down and out. You feel like you you know you don't have much. You don't know how you're going to pay your bill. You don't but but God said trust in me. Trust in me. I'm going to get you through this. This too shall pass. Say this too shall pass. And the Lord is saying, I've given you a brain. I've given you gifts. I've given you talents. I've given you two hands. What do you have in your hands? Don't feel sorry for somebody. The Lord said, don't feel sorry for yourself. No more woe is me. Get up and use what you have in your hand. Go on 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 job sites in or career.com and look for jobs. Update your resume. Reach out. Ask for help. Learn how to be vulnerable. Learn how to, you know, knock on the doors, right? Knock on the doors. Look for opportunities. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Be hopeful because there's a solution. It's going to get better, my God, but you got to hold on. You got to believe and trust in God and be hopeful because there's light at the end of the tunnel. My God, be hopeful. I pray that this word was for somebody because it, it, it definitely helped me, guys. I have my moments, too, where I feel like I want to give up, where I feel like, God, why do I do what I do? The sacrifice, the the toll it takes on me physically mentally spiritually emotionally but i love the lord somebody put it in the chat box say i love the lord i love jesus hallelujah and i and 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 i'm pursuing purpose and passion and when you're pursuing purpose and passion although you may grow weary at times you get back up and you love it because it's a part of who you are and god just wants you to tap into those things that 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 make you who you are who are you what do you have in your hand what is your purpose what has god called you to where is your post hallelujah be hopeful in those things. Be hopeful in good things. Keep your eyes and your mind set on the things above and not on the things of this world. What would God have you to do? My God, be hopeful. Hallelujah. So it's giving time. It's giving time. If you feel led to give, please do so. God loves and honors a cheerful giver. And if you want to see a breakthrough in your finances, not only continue to tithe and give, but steward your finances. Steward your finances because God is about management. How well can you manage the things in your life for him to give you more? If you have not accepted the Lord as your savior, just say, Jesus, I confess, I, I repent of my sins. I believe in my whole heart that you are the Messiah. I confess, I accept you into my life as my Lord and my savior. Please come into my life. He will begin to move. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray us out and I will see you guys on Friday for Morning Glory Live. So Father God, I thank you for this amazing live. I thank you, Father God, for this amazing opportunity, Lord. I thank you for allowing us to come together, God, just to be able to say your name one more time, God, just to be able to read the scriptures one more time, God. We pray for the sick, the poor, the needy, the shut in. We pray for the body of Christ as a whole. We pray, Father God, for those who are being persecuted. We pray for children who are going through starvation, God. We pray for those who are going through bereavement, oh Lord. And I just ask you, God, to be with us, God. Be with us in our homes, Lord, as we go through these silent struggles father god help us to get through these silent struggles help us to be hopeful again help us to walk through the right doors god help us to cut the people who don't belong god help us to make the right choices god as we navigate having to make choices because change is here we thank you god cover us god from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet we worship you god we worship you O lord in spirit and in truth and in your mighty name jesus i say amen amen and amen i love you guys i love you guys i love you guys um i appreciate you and um, I'm super excited to see you guys um, on Friday for Morning Glory Live. Keep me in your prayers and I will pray for you as well. God bless.